This is your boy KC. Ah, what's up, man? Today, I want to work on seven stroke roll. Seven stroke roll, uh, it's not as common as the five stroke roll or the six stroke roll. And I'm talking for your intermediate advanced guys. Um, I think y'all, you know, probably learn you know, the single paradiddle. Uh, you know, probably like flam, five stroke roll, um, you know, singles and doubles. Well, in this variation, it's, it's, it's a double mixed with a diddle, and you come in with one hit. Um, either you, you're leading off, well, I can show y'all guys. It's very simple. Um, it's almost like a paradiddle diddle, somewhat. Not complicated, but it's not really used too much. Um, I think some guys use it in a form of maybe with speed or like a syncopated motion, um, repetitious, you know, hit like on the cymbal, um, or even run on the pad, on the on the uh, on the toms, you know, going around the set. So what I'm gonna do is start off. You know what a double stroke is, right, right, left, left. Right, right, left. That's it. Double. Diddle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very simple. You know, I think sometimes we tend to use it, you know, maybe falsely or make it way more complicated than what it is. Or sometimes you do it, don't even know you're doing it. You know, a lot, of, a lot of the rudiments are formed, you know, combined with single doubles, uh, paradiddle, you know, the, the the diddles. I mean, it's combined in one, and all rudiments are. It is like a substance of made-up stuff. You know, you can start off doing single doubles, then you just add one hit to this, and you know, so it combines in a lot of things. Seven-stroke roll. Um, Y'all guys should definitely use it. Um, leading off with the left hand. Left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Left, left. Left hand, you should start off with your left. Because I guarantee you, most of y'all guys, I think maybe if you're right handed, your left hand is the weakest. Um, you never want to start off with your right hand because your right hand is your, your dominant hand. You know, you want to start off leading with your left. So when you combine it together, it's, it comes out even. So the count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, 60 beats a minute, y'all guys know that. I'm going to start off, um, do something a little different. Do eighth notes instead of quarter note. Eighth note and sixteenth note. Here it goes. Right hand, eighth note. As you can see, I did it repetitious. I didn't stop. You know, normally you can go. Which is good, but when you constantly, repetitively play it over and over, that's how you build up your speed. It constantly, it constantly just rolls out instead of, you know, hesitating. Um, right hand. Eighth note. Very cool. Like I said, you can hesitate. Right. Left. Huh? 
or very 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 interesting rudiment um, if y'all guys definitely you know dibble and dab with a, a pair of diddle diddle you know, I think y'all guys will love this um, 16th note both hands I'm gonna do continuous here it goes Sixteen now. Trying to wait till we get to the one. Left hand. All right, guys. Set a stroke roll. Definitely work on it. Intermediate advance, guys. I believe y'all. You know, can pull it off. You know, start off slow, 60 beats a minute. Definitely, you know, you can. You don't have to work on, you know, quarter notes. I recommend it, but uh, six-stroke roll, you know, combined with seven-stroke roll. Man, if you get it down back, I'm telling you, mixed with pair diddle diddle, it's like so many different things in one. If you start off slow and then when you speed all of them up at the same time, wow, it's like a bunch of rumbling, you know, on the, on the drum set. Okay, guys. Signing off. This is it. See y'all guys later.